Walking into the division of unclaimed funds okay, is like winning the lottery. So, so how much money did they find for you? 22 bucks. That's pretty awesome though. But um, a year or two ago, they actually found $847 for me. So that was really nice. Cash or sometimes treasure with your name on it. We return monies and other property that um, many, many people don't even know uh, they have. Jackie Williams is the director of the Ohio Department of Commerce, which oversees unclaimed funds. She says some of the money comes from closed checking and savings accounts, forgotten branching utility deposits, even uncashed insurance policies. It can be a matter of a few cents uh, to the highest individual uh, payoff that we've ever had for a person has been $1.9 million. Last year's average payout was $1,600. This year, it's a little higher, $2,200. There's also property, things like gold coins, silver bars, and stock certificates that were left in bank safety deposit boxes. A few key strokes earned Adam Hartong some cash. So a family member was doing some searching and, and found the site and said, hey, I, I found some, some of our names on there. You might want to take a look and see if that's you. He did and scored a nice chunk of change. That $2,500 was quite a, quite a surprise then to get to say, wow, that, yeah, th this has been sitting there for that, that period of time. He says the claims process was easy. Doing the research to actually get the paperwork and prove that it was mine, that did a little, I had to do a little bit of digging there just because it was from some accounts from a while ago. But other than that, it was very smooth. Everything went easy. It also paid off for Williams. A few months ago, I went online. I found out I had $35 from a previous employer. And um, the agency pays interest. So by the time I got my check, it was actually for $41. Money better kept in your pocket than the state's.